Well, now to those new questions about President Trump's advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and his dealings with Russia. Errol Barnett has the latest from the White House. He is so great. If you can't produce peace in the Middle East, nobody can. Speaking on the okay. eve of his inauguration, oh, President-elect Donald Trump like praised his 36-year-old son-in-law and advisor, Jared Kushner. Kushner, a core pillar of Trump's inner circle, had been operating as the chief conduit between President Trump and foreign officials during the campaign. Reuters is reporting of at least three previously undisclosed contacts at that time between Kushner and the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak. The Washington Post claims Kushner was interested at establishing a back channel of communications with the Kremlin. The FBI is already scrutinizing Kushner's Russian contacts, but has not accused him of any wrong. Doing. Among the communications is a December meeting with the Russian ambassador and a follow-up with Sergei Gorkov, the chairman of Russian state-owned bank VEB. That bank is currently sanctioned by the United States. Democrats like California's Ted Lieu now want the president's trusted advisor punished. He is now in a compromisable position. He needs to have his security clearance suspended. In a statement responding to the Reuters report, Kushner's attorney said, quote, Mr. Kushner participated in thousands of calls in this time period. He has no recollection of the calls described. Trump associates already facing FBI scrutiny include former campaign chairman Paul Manafort, former national security advisor Michael Flynn, former foreign policy advisor Carter Page, and longtime Trump friend Roger Stone. Now, Jared Kushner's lawyer also says they have requested dates of the alleged undisclosed Russian contacts so they can investigate. Meanwhile, former FBI Director James Comey, who has agreed to testify in front of the Senate Intelligence Committee, is still coordinating when to do so. Marina? Thanks, Harold.